Hey, Comic Kids, Cash Cow back with another video. Keep it rolling today. Today, I got nine comics that I want to show you guys and preview that I think will be very important going on with the Armor Wars series that's coming up. Or the show, or you know, season one. Basically, uh, Rhodey takes over. I mean, you, if you follow the comic books, you know the story. Rhodey takes over as the war machine, uses his armor, and end up being Iron Man's backup. So you know they got a series coming up. If I wanna, I wanna say it's either gonna be the end of this year, or the beginning of next year. That's why I'm, I'm kind of thinking that that's what's going to happen. It's either, it's going to be one or the other. Either going to do it before, yeah, because I think She-Hulk comes out later this year. So they might preview it, like I said, either end of this year or beginning of next year. It'll probably be when you see Armor War. But enough of that, guys. Like I said, I got nine comics that I'm going to preview, show you guys that I think are going to be very important going on down the road for the Armor War series. If you guys want to see those comics, keep on watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and let's keep it moving. With that being said, first one, guys. Got War Machine number one. Alright, that's his first solo series. It's in black and white. Not too expensive. This comic was actually a sleeper because a lot of people then weren't really paying attention to it that War Machine had his own series, his own ongoing solo series. So, everybody's been focused on Iron Man 282 or West Coast Avengers number 94, not understanding that, hey, you got a sleeper right here that might get hot. Yeah, it's probably only worth a few bucks. Now I got it for three bucks. But... It might jump to a $20 comic or a $30 comic. Not saying you can put your house up and mortgage or anything. But, hey, why not, you know, take advantage of those games when you get those games, guys. All right? That's his first solo series, War Machine Number 1. It's going to be in black and silver. It's kind of like a foil, almost a foil cover. So it's one of those 90 ones, you know, when they did the foil. You know how that goes. Next, we got Iron Man number 230. The first appearance of Firepower. It's a heavily armored antagonist. And I think this is Armor Wars part 6. Part 6 or part 5. Basically, the villains that I show you that's going to be in this today are their first appearances. Not necessarily in the they but they all appear in the Armor Wars story arc so I feel like it has a chance to where any of them will appear and that's who War Machine is going to have to fight alright so that's his that's the first villain it's Firepower first appearance of him Iron Man number 230 alright guys be on the lookout for that right now nobody's really paying attention to that number 3 we got Iron Man number 225 of course, this, because it's part one of the Armor War story arc. So why would it not be important, right? This comic, when they first announced that he was going to have a series, that they were going to do a series about Armor Wars, this comic picked up some steam. It's kind of tailed off as of lately. So, hey, now there's a buying opportunity for it. If you want a copy for yourself, I would suggest getting it. You know, buy any of these comics if you actually want them. If you could get in a higher grade and see, get it graded or something and see what happens later on down the road, take your chance to see what happens. Don't follow my advice and be like, I got to get a 9.8 or something. I'm not telling you to do any of that, but that's your choice. But that being said, this is part one of the story arc. So this begins everything with that. All right. That's the most notable one. When people talk about Armor Wars, that's probably one of the first comics they think of. Either that, or Iron Man 282, 
West Coast Avengers number 94. Like, you automatically, Armor Wars, you think of Iron Man and War Machine. Should be nice, guys. Next, number four. We got the Tales of Suspense number 69. That's the first appearance of Titanium Man. This is another villain that is introduced in that story arc of the Armor Wars. So I feel like it's potential that he can appear in this series because he appears in the story arc. I feel like as of late, they have actually did a pretty good job of sticking to what the comics was doing and they put it in the show. So pretty sure you might see you could. It's so good possibility you could see Titanium Man or they could set him up for another season if it does well with the first season. This one is actually starting to see some, some uh, little bitty spikes here and there. Depending on the grade, I got a few of them. So, hey, get in where you fit in, right? Number five. Of course, got the West Coast Avengers number 94. This is Rhodey takes up the War Machine moniker. This is when he finally accepts the moniker and the name of being called War Machine. Also, it's a Dark Hawk appearance for anybody that's speculating on that. <laughs> so, this is when he takes that up that moniker and that name. Now, they have those in newsstand variants, and they have that in the regular direct edition variants that has like the Iron Man helmet and it has the years on it. I, I, I forgot the years, the, the years on it, but it has the old school Iron Man helmet. If you can, get newsstand variants of this, or copies. Probably be a little bit more valuable than this one. It's worth the shot, guys. Alright? Next, let's keep it rolling. Number six. We got, of course, Iron Man number 282. That is the first appearance of the War Machine armor. Now, let's go back in history. This is not the first appearance of when Rhodey wears the War Machine armor. This is the first appearance of just the War Machine armor. But people assume that first because it's like, okay, you see War Machine, you automatically think Rhodey. Rhodey didn't start off wearing the War Machine armor first. Actually, Tony Stark wore the War Machine armor first. Then Rhodey jumps into the armor and he begins to wear it. Alright, now this comic is probably the most valuable out of all of these in the Armor Wars series. Like, going on down the road with War Machine, it's probably the most valuable because it's actually, the, it's the suit. The suit is what makes it special. Like, Iron Man was able to put on the suit and everybody's like, oh, it's Iron Man. And then War Machine puts it on and he goes by the name War Machine and then it kind of it starts catching on even more, right? This is the one that you probably would want to get out of all of these. If you had a choice, I would get that. Now, they have newsstand variants of that as well, guys. I think that's maybe my third copy of that kind. So, we'll see what happens going on down the road. If I plan to flip one or two, whatever I'm going to do. Hey. Next, we got the Invisible Iron Man number 118. The first appearance of James Rhodey Rhodes. This is his first appearance. This is just his, him as a, before he's a hero or but he's still just Iron Man's friend and he's a soldier. He's not becoming a war machine until later on down the road, all right? So make sure you guys notice that. But if you are invested in the character and you like the character, he first appears in this. Hope you guys can see that. All right, let's keep it rolling. We got the Invincible Iron Man number 120. It's the first appearance of Justin Hammer. Now I feel this will be very important because he will kind of be like your background antagonist. So kind of be playing the scenes in the back, but providing weapons to certain people. Then, cause the way they're so far to present it is that Stark, like, tech is stolen. 
and then he has to get it back, but he has to fight through a lot of adversaries to get it back, or at least damage it so they can't use it anymore. Something on that lines of that, I believe that's how the story arc goes. But if anybody knows, Justin Hammer is a weapons specialist and tech designer himself. So, pretty sure he's going to be introducing some guys to some techno techno technologically technology. Oh lord, butcher that. He's going to be introducing them to some tech. Let's just leave it at that. Some tech that's going to um pretty sure where they can compete and they can go a few rounds of War Machine or whoever else is introducing this series. They have had speculations that Punisher will be introduced in this series, which uh, kind of on the we'll see on that. I mean, I was wrong about Kingpin, so I'm gonna just be quiet on that. I don't have the first appearance of Punisher's War Machine armor, so if I can find a decent price for one, I'll snatch one up. Uh, also, you hear speculation that Ironheart may appear. Now, I, I kind of believe Ironheart a little bit more because. She actually is invested in the Stark tech, so I can see her appearing more and they building up her character and giving you a first introduction of her and then push her series later on down the road. Kind of like they did with Echo with uh, Hawkeye. They introduced you to Echo and then now you know she's got a series coming. I think they're going to follow that blueprint as well, guys. But that's this is the first appearance of Justin Hammer. All right, that's an underrated key, guys. I think that's going to be a nice, I think that'll be a nice buy. With that being said, let's keep it pushing. Next, got Tales of Suspense number 46. This is the first appearance of Crimson Dynamo, second appearance of Pepper Potts, and second appearance of Happy Hogan. This comic, I feel like, will be one of the most important comics. If they introduce Crimson Dynamo, which anybody, spoiler alert, they talked about Crimson Dynamo's kind of made a joke or a dig at him in the Black Widow movie when the daughter was like, oh, so talking to her dad as a Red Guardian, she was like, oh, so you think you're Crimson Dynamo now? So something along the lines of that. So... And Crimson, there was a few people that played Crimson Dynamo because I think he he died soon after. I think Tales of Suspense 52, the first Prince of Black Widow. I think after that he died and they had to get another one. So, like I said, guys, it's the suit. So when they put a person in the suit, you just think it's the suit. You don't really know who's all behind the suit unless you're like Iron Man and people are like, oh, yeah, that's Tony Stark. Or when War Machine finally catches on, oh, that's Rhodey. That's just how it goes. The villains, they like, eh, I don't know who's playing Titanium Man, Firepower, Crimson Dino. I don't know who's that. I just know the suit, and I know that's them. That's the villain, right? He also appears in the Armor Wars story arc. That's another villain. That's, what, number three. He's got a few of them that appear in there, all right? think it's a chance that any of them might appear in that 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 uh show it's a chance i just feel like it's a chance a high probability they can go anyway next got the invincible iron man number 43 this is the first appearance of the guardsman all right this is another character that appears in the armor war story arc the villain so so far I think you have like maybe five main villains and then you have like you know like agents and robots and all that stuff which I'm pretty sure you'll get a taste of that too they'll probably throw that out at you and see how that goes in the series I'm pretty excited to see how it goes guys uh I just we'll see when it's gonna premiere and you'll start seeing certain comics get a spike what you do with it is your business. None of mine, right? All right. That's the first appearance of the Guardsman. It's another character, another villain that appears in the Armor War story arc. Last but not least, we got Submariner number 19. 
the first appearance of the Stingray. Another armored character who appears in the Armor Wars story arc that is a villain. So, that being said, it's definitely a high probability that he probably could be in this series. Or they can do it where if they finally make Neymar appear in Black Panther 2, they could kind of piggyback off of that and they can have it where Stingray appears the next time Submariner has a movie or a TV show or something on that lines. And you can see the Stingray. You probably may see Tiger Shark. You may see some of those characters. I think with Submariner, they're kind of going to wait certain characters then drop him in there because he has quite a few that he fights as well. I just think the sky's the limit for this series, guys. Alright? I love that copy. With that being said, guys, that is my nine comics that I premiered today that I feel like have a high probability of being successful in the Armor Wars series. Not all of them. Pretty sure not every last one of them is going to appear. But I feel like there's a probability you may get one or two of those villains. You're definitely going to get War Machine. James Rhodes is a safe bet. There's a few of them that's a safe bet. But you know what I said, guys. With investments, it's always a risk. But sometimes that risk pays into reward. So... That being said, guys, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Keep following me, man. I'm going to keep cranking out these videos. Cash Cow out.